16. Garbage in, garbage out. We throw out so much rubbish or garbage every day from our homes, schools, shops and offices. The grains, pulses, biscuits, milk or oil purchased in shops are packed in plastic bags or tins. All this wrapping material go out as garbage. We sometimes buy things that are rarely used and often thrown into the garbage. We generate so much garbage in our day-to-day -day activities. We often throw groundnut cells on public places, in buses or trains after eating the nuts. We throw away the ticket when we get off a bus. A child might go on sharpening pencils just for fun. If we make mistakes or spill ink on our notebook, we tear off the sheet and throw it away. And we also throw away many domestic wastes such as broken toys, old clothes, shoes and slippers. What if the garbage is not removed from our homes and surroundings? How do you think this will harm us? When Safai Karmacharis take the garbage from the bins, where does the garbage go and what happens to it? Is it possible for all of this garbage to be changed into something that will not harm us? Can we contribute towards this in any way? We will look for answers to these questions in this chapter. A step towards cleanliness. Shachya Bharat. The Prime Minister of India launched the Shachya Bharat mission, SBM. The aim of this mission is to create an open, defecation free India by 2nd October 2019. Children from Pahali and Bojo school did a project called Dealing with Garbage. We will learn about some of the things they learned through this project. 16.1 Dealing with Garbage Safai Karmacharis collect the garbage in trucks and take it to a low-lying open area called a landfill figure. There the part of the garbage that can be reused is separated out from the one that cannot be used as such. Thus, figure a landfill. The garbage has both useful and non-useful components. The non-useful component is separated out. It is then spread over the landfill and then covered with a layer of soil. Once the landfill is completely full, it is usually converted into a park or a playground. For the next 20 years or so, no building is constructed on it. To deal with some of the useful components of garbage, compost making areas are developed near the landfill. What is compost? Let us learn about it from the following activity. Pahali did wonder as to what could be useful garbage. Why was it thrown away in the first place? Is there some garbage that is not actually garbage? Activity 1. Do this. Collect the garbage from your house before it is thrown into the dustbin. Separate it into two groups so that they have Group 1. Garbage from the kitchen like fruit and vegetable pills, eggshells, waste food, tea leaves include newspapers, dry leaves and paper bags in this group. Group 2 pieces of cloth, polythene bags, broken glass, aluminium wrappers, nails, old shoes and broken toys. Now divide the contents of each group into two separate heaps. Label them. Figure putting garbage heaps in pits. As A, B, C and D put one heap from group 1 and one heap from group 2 into two separate plastic bags, tie the mouth of these two bags tightly. Put all the four heaps in separate pits and cover them with soil. Figure. 
you can also use four pots to bury this garbage heaps. Remove the soil after four days and observe the changes in the garbage. A black color and no foul smell indicates that rotting of garbage is complete. Put the heaps again in the pits and cover with the soil. Observe again after every two days and note your observation as suggested. Did the garbage 1. Rot completely and not smell 2. Rot only partially 3. Rot almost completely but still smells bad 4. Not change at all Garbage in which heap was seen to rot and which did not Enter options 1, 2, 3 or 4 in the columns of table based on your table. What has happened to the garbage heaps? The garbage heaps. Garbage heap after 4 days, after 6 days, after 2 weeks, after 4 weeks. A, B, C, D. Do this and comment this. Observations. If you make any other observations, do not forget to write all this down in your notebook. Do not remove and burn the garbage that did not rot. If the garbage was found to rot completely and did not smell, mix it in the soil where you show your favorite plants. This wood provides nutrients to the plants. You must have observed from this activity that some things in the garbage rot. They form manure which is used for the plants. The rotting and conversion of some materials into manure is called composting. In some cities and towns, municipalities provide separate dustbins for collecting two kinds of garbage. Usually one is colored blue and the other green. The blue bin is for materials that can be used again, such as plastics, metals and glass. Did you notice that these are the materials that do not rot in the garbage heap? The green bins are for collecting kitchen and other plant or animal wastes. You may have noticed that this type of wastes rot completely when buried in the soil. Do you see why it is necessary for us to separate waste into two groups as we did in activity 1 before we throw it? Have you noticed garbage heaps for of dried leaves on the roadside? Most of the time these are burnt figure. Farmers too often burn the husk, dried leaves and part of crop plants in their fields after harvesting. Burning of this produces smoke and gases that are harmful to our health. We should try to stop such practices. This waste is could be converted into useful compost. Figure Burning of leaves produce harmful gases. Here are some of the observations and thoughts noted by Paheli and Bojo from their project dealing with garbage. Bojo noted in his notebook, do not burn leaves. You will not be able to tolerate the fumes. Paheli made a note in her notebook, why has the government not made burning of leaves as theft? Not theft really. She must have meant illegal. She wanted that the government should make a law against the burning of leaves and other plant wastes anywhere in India. 16.2 Varmi Composting we can be friends of plants by supplying them with compost. We will also be very good friends to ourselves by making compost. Talking of friends, do you know that earthworms are called farmer's friend? Let us find out how a type of earthworm called radome is used for composting. This method of preparing compost with the help of radomes is called varmi composting. We can try to make manure by vermicomposting at school. Activity 2. Do this. 
Let us dig a pit about 30 cm deep or keep a wooden box at a place which is neither too hot nor too cold. What about a place which does not get direct sunlight? Let us now make a comfortable home for our radomes in the pit or the box. Spread a net or chicken mess at the bottom of the pit or the box. You can also spread one or two centimeter thick layer of sand as an alternative. Now spread some vegetables or wastes including peels of fruit over this layer of sand. One can also use green leaves, pieces of dried stalks of plant, husk or pieces of newspaper or cardboard to spread over the layer of sand. However, shiny or plastic coated paper should not be used for this purpose. Dried animal dung could also be used as a spread over sand or wire mesh. Sprinkle some water to make this layer wet. Take care not to use excess of water. Do not press the layer of waste. Keep this layer loose so that it has sufficient air and moisture. Now your pit is ready to welcome the radoms. Buy some radoms and put them in your pit figure. Cover them loosely with a gunny bag or an old sheet of cloth or a layer grass. Figure radoms. Your radoms need food. You can give them vegetable and fruit wastes. Coffee and tea remains and weeds from the fields or garden figure. It might be a good idea to bury this food about 2 to 3 cm inside the pit. Do not use wastes. Figure Food for radomes. That may contain salt, pickles, oil, vinegar, meat and milk preparation as food for your radomes. If you put these things in the pit, Disease causing small organisms start growing in the pit. Once in a few days, gently mix and move the top layers of your pit. Radomes do not have teeth. They have a structure called gizzard, which helps them in grinding their food. Powdered egg cells or sea cells could be mixed with the wastes. This would help radomes in grinding their foods. A radom can eat food equal to its own weight in a day. Radomes do not survive in very hot or very cold surroundings. They also need moisture around them. If you take good care of your homes in a month's time, their number will double. Observe the contents of the pit carefully after 3 to 4 weeks. Do you now see loose soil-like material in the pit? Your vermicompost is ready. Figure. Put some wastes as food in one corner of the pit. Most of the worms will shift. Figure. Vermicomposting. Towards this part of the pit, vacating the other part, remove the compost from the vacated part and dry it in the sun for a few hours. Your vermicompost is ready for use. The part left in the pit has most of the worms in it. You can use this for preparing more compost or share them with another user. Use this excellent vermicompost in your post gardens or fields. Is this not like getting the best out of waste? Those of you who have agricultural fields can try vermicomposting in large pits. You can save a lot of money that is spent on buying expensive chemical fertilizers and manure from the market. Sixteen point three. Think and throw. How much of garbage do you think is thrown out by each house every day? You can make an estimate by using a bucket as a measure. Use a five to ten liter bucket to collect the garbage from your home for figure. Neighborhood garbage dump. A few days, in how many days does the bucket become full? You know the number of members in your family. 
If you find out the population of your city or town, can you now estimate the number of buckets of garbage that may be generated in a day in your city or town? We are generating mountains of garbage every day, is not it? Let us read a story about a village where there is less garbage and more wisdom. Nanu studies in class 6. He is very fond of making paper plans. His mother is very annoyed when he tears up sheets from new notebook to make aeroplanes. But Nanu does not care. Once Nanu went to his aunt's village along with his mother, he was amazed at the variety of things his cousin Sham has made. Files from old charts, greeting cards decorated with flowers made from pencils shaving, mats from old clothes, basket from used old polythene bags were some of the items Nanu liked. Sham had even made a diary from invitation cards. One morning Nanu went looking for his grandmother Nani. He saw that she was applying a thick paste on a basket. Nanu asked, Nani, what are you doing? What is this paste? This is paper match, a paste made of clay and paper in which I have also mixed some rice husk, replied Nani. But why are you putting it on the basket? asked Nanu. To make it stronger, said Nani and added, Would you like to learn this from me? Nanu was not very keen and ran outside to play. He was only interested to in tearing up papers to make plans. In fact, he also started tearing up papers from Sam's, plies, Sam's files. Sam collected all the pieces of paper Nanu had used, wondering what to do about him. He just did not listen to anyone. It was Nanu's birthday in a few days. Sham planned to invite Nanu's friend. Nanu took out money from his smart pot and went to the market. He bought some paper hats for his friends. He asked the shopkeeper for a polythene bag to keep the hats, who gave him a paper bag instead of polythene. Nanu also bought many other items like biscuit and toffees. He found it difficult to carry all of these things as no shopkeeper was ready to give a polythene bag. Sham had told him to carry a cloth bag with him and he was sorry he did not listen to him. Somehow he managed to reach home with all his purchases. Figure. Nano's friend enjoyed the fist on his birthday and played many games. Figure Nanu with bags full of purchases. All his friends owed the shiny papers hat Nanu had bought. Sham had made beautiful papier mache max for Nanu's friend. He had a special gift for Nanu as well. A photo frame and a greeting card made from the paste of all the pieces of paper Nanu had thrown away. It was a new experience for Nanu. All his friends went home with their mugs. Nanu was too excited to finish his meal and look at his gifts. Nanu returned home after his holidays were over. How different his town was from Sham's village. There were no rag pickers in the village as it was neat and clean. But now he stopped making faces when he saw the rag picking children near his house. You might have seen some children shorting the garbage near your house or at other places. Observe the children at work and find out how they separate useful material from the garbage. They are actually helping us. Talk to one such child and find out what do they do with the rubbish they collect. Where do they take it? Does he or she go to school? What about his or her friends? If they do not go to school, find out the possible reasons. Can you help this child to read and write? Have you ever helped at home to sell old newspapers, glass and metal things, 
plastic bags and your old notebooks to a garbage dealer? Talk to him and find out what he does with all the garbage. Would you like to make paper from old and discarded paper like sham? Let us learn to do this. Section point four: Recycling of paper. You will require pieces of old newspapers, magazines, used envelopes, notebooks, or any other paper. Do not use shiny plastic coated paper. You will also need a frame fitted with a wire mesh or a net. You can also use a large sized sheet in place of a frame. Tear the paper into small pieces, put them in a tub or a bucket and pour water in it. Let the pieces of paper remain submerged in water for a day. Make a thick paste of paper by pounding it. Now spread the wet paste on the wire mesh fixed to the frame. Pat it gently to make the thickness of layer of the paste as uniform as possible. Wait till water drains off. If required, spread an old cloth or a sheet of newspaper on the paste to let it soak up the extra water. Now carefully remove the layer of paste from the frame. Spread it on a sheet of newspaper in the sun. Keep the corners of the newspaper sheet pressed by putting some widths so that these do not curl up. You can add food color, pieces of dry leaves or flower petals or pieces of colored paper in the paste before spreading it. It would help you to get a recycled paper with beautiful patterns on it. Can we recycle everything just as we recycle paper? Section 0.5 Plastics Boon or a curse. Some kind of plastics can be recycled, but not all of them. Did you notice that polythene bags and some plastics did not rot in activity 1? You might now easily understand why polythene bags create a big problem in garbage disposal. It may be a little difficult to imagine our life without plastics. Shall we list a few things we use that are made of plastics? Toys, shoes, bags, pens, combs, toothbrushes, buckets, bottles, and water pipes. The list is fairly long. Can you name a few parts of a bus, car, radio, television, refrigerator, and a scooter that are made of plastics? The use of plastics in itself might not create so much of a problem. Problems arise when we use plastics excessively and are ignorant about ways of disposing their waste. This is what is happening all around us. We might even be acting irresponsibly knowing well about its harmful effects. We often use plastic bags to store cooked food items. Sometimes these bags may not be suitable for keeping eatables. Consuming food packed in such plastic bags could be harmful to our health. Many a time shopkeepers use plastic bags that have been used earlier for some other purpose. Sometimes bags collected by rack pickers are also used after washing them. Use of such recycled plastic bags to keep food items could be harmful for our health. For storing etables, we must insist on use of plastic bags that are approved for such a use. All kind of plastic gives you out harmful gases. Upon heating or burning, these gases may cause many health problems, including cancer in humans. The government has also laid down guidelines for recycling of plastics. Pahali would like to suggest that containers used for storing poisonous substances should be recycled separately and that such recycled plastics are not used to make plastic bags. You must have noticed that people often uh, fill garbage in plastic bags and then throw it away. When stray animals look for food in these bags, they end up swallowing this. Sometimes they die due to this. The plastic bags thrown away carelessly on roads and other places get into drains and the sewer systems. As a result, drains get choked and the water spilled on the roads. During heavy rains, it might even create a flood-like situation. 
there is a lot of harm that too much use of plastics can do. What can we do to minimize overuse of plastics and deal with garbage? 1. We make a minimum use of plastics bag. We reuse the bags whenever it is possible to do so without any adverse effect. 2. We insist shopkeepers use paper bags. We carry a cloth or a jute bag when we go out for shopping. 3. We do not use plastic bags to store eatables. 4. We do not throw plastic bags here and there after use. 5. We never burn plastic bags and other plastic items. 6. We do not put garbage in plastic bags and throw it away. 7. We use vermicomposting at home and deal with our kitchen waste usefully. 8. We recycle paper. 9. We use both sides of the paper to write. We use a slide for rough work. We use blank sheets of paper left in our notebooks for rough work. 10. We make our family, friends and others to follow proper practices for disposing different kinds of wastes. Think about some more ways to minimize overuse of plastics and discuss. The most important point to know and think about is that more garbage was generated, more difficult it will be to get rid of it. Keywords Waste, Garbage, Landfill, Compost, Bharmi Composting, Recycling. Let us refuse plastic. Summary Landfill is an area where the garbage collected from a city or town is dumped. The area is later converted into a park. Converting plant and animal waste including that from kitchen into manure is called composting. The method of making compost from kitchen garbage using red homes is called bharmi composting. Paper can be recycled to get useful products. Plastics can be converted into less harmful substances by the process of composting. We need to generate less waste and find ways of dealing with the increasing amount of garbage in our surroundings. Exercises Do this and comment this. Activities for dealing with garbage 1. Collect old and discarded objects and materials like glass bottles, plastic bottles, coconut husk, wool, bed sheets, grating curds and any other things. Can you make something useful out of this instead of throwing them? Try. 2. Prepare a detailed project report on compost making activity you did in school. A matter of concern. In autumn, lost of leaves are burnt in cities like Delhi. Some of the gases produced by burning leaves are similar to the gases released by the vehicles moving on the roads. Instead of burning, if we make compost from these leaves, we can reduce the use of chemical fertilizers. The green areas, which should have fresh air, actually become full of harmful glass gases due to burning of leaves. If you find anyone is burning, the leaves bring it to notice of municipal authorities or write to newspapers about it. Generate social pressure against burning of leaves. Ensure that fallen leaves are not burned but used for making compost. Write to the tree authority of your, site, of your city or state to declare burning of leaves as an offense. The village of my dreams. The village of my dreams is still in my mind. After all, every man lives in the world of his dreams. My ideal village will contain intelligent human beings. They will not live in dirt and darkness as animals. Men and women will be free and able to hold their own against anyone in the world. 
there will be neither plague nor cholera nor smallpox no one will be idle no one will wallow in luxury everyone will have to contribute his quota of manual labor when our villages are fully developed there will be no dearth in them of men with a high degree of skill and artistic talent there will be village poets village artists village architects linguistics and research workers in short there will be nothing in life worth having which will not be had in the villages today the villages are dung heaps tomorrow they will be like tiny gardens of eden where dwells highly intelligent folk whom no one can deceive or exploit the reconstruction of the villages along this line should begin right now M K Gandhi Mass illiteracy Mass illiteracy is India's sin and shame and must be liquidated Of course the literacy campaign must not begin and end with the knowledge of the alphabet it must go hand in hand with the spread of useful knowledge the dry knowledge of the 3 rs is not even now it can never be a permanent part of the villagers life they must have knowledge given to them which they must use daily it must not be thrust upon them they should have the appetite for it what they have today is something they neither want nor appreciate give the villagers village arithmetic village geography village history and the literacy knowledge that they must use daily that is reading and writing letters etc they will treasure such knowledge and pass on to the other stage they have no use for books which give them nothing of daily use harijan 22 june 1940